No, you know what? I think it has to be white. It's, it's all about being virginal, about walking forth into something new. I understand we're, we're a modern couple. We, we don't have to go the old school way, but this I think is a chance to be beautiful in kind of a nice classic way. It's a chance to connect us to generations that we never met. Like, I don't want to overstep my bounds. I know this is your thing, but I think it should be white. I think it's about purity. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. I'll go with the white. Wait. Just give me a white shitter. Maybe we can take it out of the dress budget. We can never decide. Every choice is an existential conundrum. We can see that silent movie with the horses, but I think they represent I don't know, poverty or racism or something. Eh, I don't want to be that pretentious couple. Yeah. Wait, why don't we see the new comedy? That's the one where those unattractive guys kill that unnamed woman. I hate sequels. Mm. Are we a pathetic couple for going out on a Tuesday matinee? Well, wouldn't going home admit that we're depressed and underemployed? I don't know what happened. It used to be so easy. <laughs> we used to just be in love. Now we're engaged. Right. We need to get an engagement photo for our wedding website. We have a wedding website? Theoretically, yes. We have a link. Oh, man, engagement photos are for those adults who still want to be in your book. I know everyone tries way too hard. Well, we don't try too hard. That's like our motto. <laughs> All right, well, let's just do this. Great. Oh, wait. My eyes are closed. Oh, no, okay. okay just yeah, grab one more. Oh, so you know what? Let's <laughs> change the lighting in here. Okay. Okay. Right, cool. Two beans. Oh. Say matrimony. Matrimony. Oh, my God. Yikes. That looks scary. Like Guantanamo. I'm gonna put on pants. Oh yeah, make ourselves look nice, right? right? Special occasion. Perfect. Oh, terrible. That's prom. terrible. That that's is terrible. Prom. Let's just coordinate. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Let's just Coming coordinate through. ourselves. Expensive camera. So this represents our love. Yes. I'm assuming I'm the. African-American lesbian lady? We are an embodiment of their love, not their external features. I just think we look like a boring white couple. We should pick a boring white couple. We support equality and gay marriage, and our wedding will reflect that. So maybe instead of a bow tie, I'll just wear an AIDS ribbon, because we support AIDS. We don't support AIDS. Well, you know, maybe we should just support the underrepresented, huh? Like, uh, zombies. Maybe the undead should get a shout-out at our wedding. As long as they're lesbian, I'm okay with it. Are we calibrating two lesbian? Don't be offensive. <laughs> Ooh, look. Our love is embodied by a biracial lesbian couple who adopted a Korean baby. Maybe we should have something fun and light, huh? Like Star Wars? We're pacifists. Okay. Uh, wrestler. Chauvinist and heteronormative. Depends who you ask. What? Ooh, look how diverse they are. Construction worker, cowboy, sailor, leather daddy, Native American. They're perfect. They're ironic. They're gay. How much for the village people cake toppers? $255. Maybe our love can be embodied by cookies. Yeah, we support cookies. And every choice you make is actually a loss of a possible future. So I chose to see this matinee, which means I'm not at home masturbating, I'm not traveling to Barcelona, and I'm not writing the great American novel. And this movie sucks, I haven't even seen it yet. Yeah, and I decided to buy these Whoppers when I could be selling my body for a publishing internship. These Whoppers are great. I haven't even eaten them yet. I don't know, do we want to do a hotel ballroom? I don't know, like a, a beach? So or not us, a winery? Right? We want it to feel relaxed, yeah. we want it to feel effortless. Yeah, the venue sets kind of the whole tone, you know? We need a barn. We need the right barn. Tell me about your barn. In three words or less, describe your barn. On a scale of one to ten, how barn is your barn? Seriously, how are your barn acoustics? Yeah. Does your barn have peeling pain? Well, how dead set against installing central AC are you? Can we fit a bathroom attendant in the outhouse? Is it a working farm? Well, could we fake it? Okay, but the pigs won't actually be living there, right? Which parts of your barn feel most like a Catholic church? For my grandma. Uh, yeah. Do you have a full-service kitchen? No tables, chairs, or running water. What parts of your barn feel the most like a club? Does your barn have a door or a hatch? Is the scythe available for cake cutting? Could the hay approximate the comfort of a chair? Can we drive a champagne fountain around on a tractor? Do we have to bring 
playing our own cornhole game? Oh, sorry. Hello? Wait, don't hang up. Do you have outlets for laser lights? Wi-Fi? How quickly could it get Wi-Fi? Wheelchair access? On-site mixologist? Hello? We want it to look rustic, but have people think it's expensive. We want it to feel like of mice and men, but without the last 10 pages. Like, babe, but the humans are talking and I'm the protagonist. Animal farm, but without the Stalinist allegory. Like, little house on the prairie, but big. I'm like in a city. Mm, yeah. Have you had live band karaoke at your barn before? Burlap table runners? Tree trunk ashtrays. Chafing dishes? Can the cows wear little hats? Can the ducks wear little spats? Yeah, this sounds really barny. Do you have any less barny barns? Maybe like a hotel ballroom. That's perfect. We will hand out honey as party favors. We'll play Mumford and Sons. That is barny, right? Yeah, deal. What does a wedding make you think of? Family. Family? Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, God. No. Come on, we're let's, young. Let's, uh, let's, uh, young it up. All right. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, I'm so slutty. Yes. Oh. Yikes. Oh, Yikes. oh, my God. When's the date? Oh, um, September. <laughs> we actually don't know if we're doing flowers. Maybe it took a few moments to let me ask you a few questions to see if I could help. What's the microphone? Does it bother you? No. Say your name into the microphone. Laura Gray. Say it again. Laura Gray. Again. Laura Gray. One more time so you know who you are. Laura Gray. What kind of flowers are you drawn to? Um, I kind of like all flowers. I need you to be more specific. Tulips. Delicate. Are you a fragile person? Um, I'm sorry, what is this for? I want to find the right kind of flowers that will give you peace and solace. I need you to be open in this moment of truth. Do you okay. think you can do that? Yeah, okay. Can you do that, Laura Gray? Okay. Do you can do that? Yes. Yes, I can do that. Don't blink. Okay, this is getting really intense. I see your struggle. The wedding. You don't know what you want. I don't, actually. I kind of don't know what I want. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. I'm gonna ask you not to blink, and we're going to uncover the true meaning of your wedding. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Do you think you can do that? Yes. What do you think of orchids? Too expensive. You don't deserve them? Well, I don't think I deserve nice things. Who did this to you? What, I'm... Infringement, you blinked. Ready? Okay. Okay. Ready? What do you think of orchids? Too expensive. You don't deserve them? I don't think I deserve nice things. Are you jealous of other people's lives? Yes. Are you jealous of other women? Yes, I want to be them all the time. Infringement, you blinked. <laughs> Perhaps there's some carnations around here. Wait. No. I can do this. Come on, ask me more questions, man. I got... I got this. Come on. Do your past failures bother you? Yes. Do you feel that life is a struggle? Yes. Have you ever killed a plant? No. Have you ever killed a plant? Yes. Ever had sex with one? No. Have you ever had sex with one? No. Have you ever had sex with a plant? I dry hunt my first boyfriend in the botanical gardens. Are your feelings erratic? Sometimes I eat an entire box of mini powder donuts under my desk. Who are you hiding from? Elaine, my boss. She's always judging me. What does Elaine want for your wedding? She loves gardenias. You don't want gardenias? No. What do you want? Uh... What do you want? Cereal. Remember, you're in a garden shop. To quit my job. What do you want now at a florist? To quit my job and drink a lot of vodka. Imagine yourself in a place where there's a lot of vodka. Uh, Russian distillery. Different time period. Feudal Japan. You're unemployed in feudal Japan at a Russian distillery. What kind of flowers are there? Uh, there's Russian doll flowers. When you open them up, there's another flower inside of them that looks exactly the same, and the stems are all samurai swords, and you can fight the flowers for honor. Is that what you want? Yes. Laura, that's what you want? Yes, I am Laura, and that is what I want. I don't think we can do that here. Would tulips be all right? Tulips sound great. To be honest, these big budget spectacle things, they really aren't our bag. Yeah, you know, the whole industry is based around this, like, big idealized yeah. image of what things should be and not what they are. Right. Like yeah. the money. All the money. Oh. Oh, man, it could be spent on such worthwhile things instead of this. <laughs> oh my god, that sea monster. Oh my god, I always cry at these things. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Is it a she? Oh, oh my god. Okay, so the venue can comfortably seat 100. Okay, I've got 132 on my list. You? Uh, 141. 141. Plus 132. Is that more than 100? 
Mm, no. Wait, yes, yes of course it is. it is. Yeah. Jesus. We're gonna have to cut people. Five years from now, who are we still hanging out with? Steph and Kurt from Texas. From Austin? Houston. Cut him. Cut him. I haven't talked to her since marching band. Cut. That's my mom's friend. Cut him. I don't really know her. Who is that? I don't know. She doesn't get along with any of the other cousins. Half Indian, half Asian babies are too adorable. This is my day. See ya, Raj. I don't want any boobs that look bigger than mine at the wedding. Anyone who's breastfeeding? See ya. Oh, okay. So for, you're vegetarian, you're pescatarian. No, you know what you are? Not invited to my wedding. Yep. Okay, whether it's real or not, the limp comes across as showy. Cut her. He has no black friends. We live in the time of Obama. It's secret Santa. It's not bullshit gift Santa. Cut that bitch. Oh yeah, she's the, um, uh, has the, uh, pet raccoon. Ooh, cut her. You call this a birthday card? It's signed by your dog. British office fans only. Cut. Never read Christopher Hitchens? Cut him. She once gave me a look. Weird bangs. She's gonna cry way too much. Cut your mom. Bye. He hasn't called me since he saved me from drowning. I'm calling her right now. She's not answering. Gone. Too giving. Too thoughtful. Cut him. Cut. Cut him. Peace. Be gone. Cut, Cut her. Cut. Cut. We got two left, Jordan and Laura. That's you and me. To be honest, they seem pretty judgmental. Yeah. I don't think they really like people. Cut, Cut him. Em. What'd you think? Huh. The metaphors are a little muddled. And I'm Jordan. And we're the writers of Engage. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, click on subscribe and you can see more videos. Do it.